Auto Line on the Road from CES in Las Vegas is brought to you by our signature sponsor, ZF. See, think, act. And also by Gentex, a smarter vision. And by Magna, science fiction thinking, automotive reality. Mark Coles is the head of development for Honda's autonomous vehicle. No, not an autonomous car, an autonomous, autonomous ATV. Right. Mark, what led you guys to go, hey, we got an idea here, and he ended up with this? Yeah, well, it's, it's kind of a unique, it's part of our advanced planning process, right? We've combined a couple different things from throughout our Honda portfolio, right? Honda's a really diverse company. We got a lot of different things. We started thinking, well, there's a lot of focus on the on-road autonomous right now. What can we do in the off-road space? Well, our ATV line, right? We've got 30 years worth of brand history. Well known, the Rubicon's one of the best ones. It's been around for a very long time. So we said, hey, how can we take that, turn it into a very useful tool that could benefit mobility, but benefit the society, benefit the market. Is it electric? This one is not, okay? So the concept we showed at 18 CES last year, the, the 3E D18, that was an EV concept. What we decided to do is, again, building off that ATV heritage, we decided to stick with a gas version this year, and we built this working prototype. So you can see the videos and the different use cases we've been studying. This is the actual prototype that's in those videos. This is the real thing. So what you guys wanted to do is take a step that says, hey, let's get this thing built and actually operating, keep it simple, except for the autonomous part of it. Right. And so, you know, we want to make it real, right? There's a lot of stuff here at CES that's kind of dreamy. We wanted to show the real thing. And we think it has a, it has a lot of potential. Um, like I said, we've, we've been working in several different uh, industry use cases uh, that has proven to be extremely beneficial for us. Uh, industry recognizes the, the potential and kind of as a manpower multiplier, being able to do more with their workforce, reduce fatigue. You can see the video of like the, the firefighting example. You know, those guys love it because they can throw all this stuff in here and it follows them up the hill rather than packing everything up in a backpack and carrying it there. So it, it really does benefit the, the labor force a lot in a lot of different industries. I mean, this is almost like an all-terrain drone. You know, because the drones these days have the follow me function. You just yep. hit that and the drone will go with you, so yep. will your vehicle. Yep. Yeah, we, we expect it will, yes. And the biggest challenge we're having, and really what we're here for today, is we're trying to find good technology partners. So there's a lot of money going into the on-road autonomous space, right? There's not a lot in the off-road space, so the environment sensing and being able to map and localize the environment is really the key. And that's what we're here today looking for, is we're looking for partners who have technology to offer, are interested in this type of a concept, and want to come and help Honda bring this thing into market. Well, you're at CES, dude. I mean, how's it working? I, I would imagine there's startups coming out of the woodwork. Oh, yeah. We've had a lot of people here today. Um, you know, we're only a half a day or a little bit more in, and uh, traffic's been really high. There's a lot of people here, a lot of people stopping and asking where the good spots. So we're getting a lot of attention. It's been really good today. What are your next steps with this? So the next steps, as I said, we're looking for the technology partners. Uh, we're also looking for uh, some business to business partners. You know, the Honda Autonomous Work Vehicle needs a lot of applications. And the, the thing about it is that it's extremely flexible. It's got a ton of potential. Um, and so we got to figure out exactly where we want to go. So we're looking for people that have good use cases that want to come and help us understand what their needs are. So we can hopefully satisfy those needs. Uh, in the future. What do you think? Five years out? Ten years out? There might be uh, something? We're not committing any yeah, dates. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but somewhere down days. the road. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you can see what we did, right? We started with a concept last year. We've got a working prototype here that's been out, in the, out actually doing work. Right. So, you know, we're on our way. Cool. We're definitely on our way. Really exciting. Mark, thanks so much for your time. I really cool stuff. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, you bet. Thanks. Autonomous driving, sensor power, cloud-based connectivity. ZF, shaping next generation mobility.